everybody and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be talking about one of our main features, QoS. We're going to be explaining what it is and how you can get it set up to get the best online connection. First of all, what is QoS? It stands for quality of service and it's all about getting the best connection for the internet traffic that matters most to you. If you're a gamer like us, you're going to want to make sure that your gaming traffic is prioritized over anything else that's happening on your network. This matters because when there are other devices on your network, they're using your bandwidth. This can cause congestion and queuing, a little bit like when there's too many cars on the road at rush hour. It's this congestion that causes your game to lag. Humor OS gives you the complete tool set to solve this problem and it consists of three main features. You've got congestion control, bandwidth allocation and traffic prioritization. All three of these features work together to give your gaming traffic the VIP treatment that it deserves. In this video, we're going to be taking a quick deep dive into each feature, telling you exactly what it does and how you can get it set up to give you the best connection possible. Congestion control is all about preventing a greedy device from hogging all of your bandwidth while you're gaming. For example, someone in your home could be downloading a large file. Normally, this would cause your game to lag, but with our congestion control, you can stop this from happening. The first step is to make sure your total bandwidth speeds are set to the correct values. You should have been asked to do this when you set Duma OS up initially, but if you think they're wrong, you're not sure and you want to check, just click the side menu and just click set bandwidth speed. Now choose change speeds and you can either manually type them in or auto detect and Duma OS will run a speed test to find them for you. Now that's all sorted, let's get congestion control set up. It has three modes. Never means it's off. Always means you guessed it, it's always on. But for new users, we recommend that you choose the other mode. Auto enable. This makes sure congestion control only kicks in when games are being played on your network. So you'll only be limiting the speed of other devices when you're gaming. Now for the final step. You need to decide how much you want to restrict the top speed of other devices. On some Duma OS powered routers, you'll see there's an option here called auto setup. If you have this, we highly recommend that you use it as Duma OS will run a line test on your network to find the best congestion control settings. Simply click auto setup at the top here, then continue and then watch the magic happen. If you don't have auto setup, don't panic. Instead, you just need to manually move your sliders like this. We recommend you start off with both your download and upload sliders at 70%. This is just to be safe. It might not need to be this low. If you find that there's no lag when others are using the internet, you can up it until you find that sweet spot, but we generally don't recommend going above 90%. Either way, you don't need to sweat the exact percentage too much. As long as your sliders are around the 70 to 90% mark and you're in auto enable mode, you'll find that your gaming won't be interrupted, but also that any large downloads in your home will still go at a good pace. Okay, next feature, bandwidth allocation. This makes sure that the devices or applications that matter most to you get all of the bandwidth that they need. We call this part of the feature the flower, not just because it looks nice, but it also serves an important purpose. Each number around the flower is a percentage of your total bandwidth. By default, nothing is given any special treatment, but you can change this by moving these nodes up and down. If you're like me, you'll want to give gaming a bit of a bump, let's say 20%. You could even go the whole way and give it 100 if you want to. That means that when gaming needs bandwidth, it will definitely get it. But the cool thing is, whenever it isn't using its full allocation, which will be most of the time, then it will share it with any other application that is wanting more. You can set this for both your download and upload by toggling like this. Just remember to click update distribution at the bottom when you finish making your changes, otherwise they won't be saved. You can also switch from allocating bandwidth by application to doing it by devices instead. For example, you could set aside a portion of your bandwidth for your gaming PC by doing this. Finally, we have traffic prioritization, which keeps your gaming traffic in the fast lane. Normally, each online application will be queued on a first come first serve basis, but our QoS automatically detects your gaming traffic and pushes it straight to the front of the queue. This makes sure that nobody else in your house can slow you down, whether they're downloading a large file or binge watching their favorite Netflix series. You can keep gaming, no interruptions. In general, you shouldn't need to touch anything in this section because by default, Duma OS will automatically prioritize Duma OS classified games. This is a preset list of games and covers all console and most PC games. Click on the question mark to view the list here. If you're on a very recent version of Duma OS, you may also see a new work at home category, which we are building out. You can toggle this on or off just by moving this. For more advanced users, you can manually add entire devices or port ranges to traffic prioritization. You can find the guide on how to do this on our knowledge base, support.netduma.com. Just keep in mind that anything you add to this section will act as a trigger for the auto enable on congestion control. The last thing we need to mention is traffic overview, which shows you the number of upload and download packets that have been prioritized. 
You'll see these numbers tick up in real time when you're gaming. And there we have it, a pretty good overview of everything that you need to know regarding QoS. So we hoped this video helped you out guys. If it did, be sure to drop it a like. Of course, if there's a question or you want to know something, we haven't covered it in this video, tweet us, drop us a comment down below, harass us, do whatever you need to do to get in contact with us. We'll be happy to assist you. But for now guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.